Welcome. In front of me is an Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus, and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, while I'm going through the setup, just so I can show you that the device is locked, you can progress forward till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page and then sign in to your network. Uh, I will go a little bit further just so I can showcase that, like I said, the device is locked. So that's one of the things that uh, we're going to be doing now. Now, another thing I want to mention is we will need a SIM card. That's why there is one visible right here. I just put in the password for my Wi-Fi. There we go. So let it just go through. Now, in the guide, it does state that the SIM card needs to be active. I'm not necessarily so sure that this is such a requirement. I don't think this SIM card is actually active, or if it is, it can just receive uh, SMS and like calls, but I don't think it can send them anymore. Um, so just wanted to kind of put that out there. And now in a second, you'll also see that the device is locked and it's locked in two ways. Uh, one would be the screen lock and the other one would be the Google account. And obviously this process assumes that we don't know either one of those. So the first portion of it will be the bypass of the verification and the second portion will be the complete removal of it, which is crucial. So here's the pattern and uh, here's Google account instead. You can still see the little lock account right there. So anyway, we're gonna back out. So once you have connected to your network, you want to click on the QR code right here, which I will cover up with my hand as it does show the QR code along with the password, I think, or maybe not. But anyway, you can see portion of the QR code right here. So at the bottom, you have nearby. So you want to click on that and then select continue. Great. Still QR code kind of visible. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to select continue. Then we're going to select allow need help sharing. And as you can see, there is our article. Uh, next, we're going to click on the three dots and select share article. And you want to share it with messages. New message. We're going to completely get rid of this. And now we're going to type in www.youtube.com. Now make sure you put in the extension. It is very important. Now without the extension, what might happen is YouTube might open up in a pop-up view and obviously that would not work. So we need it in full like application. Um, anyway, now as you can see, I cannot send this uh, because there's no SIM card in the device. So I'm gonna quickly pop one in. Now I do have a pin on my SIM card, so I'm going to quickly unlock my SIM card and come on, looks like I can't send it. So let's try that again. Okay. I still can't send it. So it might be that I do actually need to have a functional SIM card as clearly you can see I cannot send messages right now. So typically you just send it. So anyway, I'm going to try to find a SIM card that is actually working and uh, I'll be back in a minute. So I got a new SIM card and hopefully this one will work. So let's try it out. Oh. 
There we go. And... So I'm gonna try that again, because something isn't working correctly. Oh, right. I think it was working fine just from the very start. I'm just a, a smooth brain and I didn't put the number in here, right? Yep. So that was my problem. I actually didn't put in the number and that's why I couldn't send anything. So yeah, anyway. So again, we're gonna just type in uh, youtube.com with the extension. There we go, and simply send it. Uh, keep in mind, I am not sending this to any kind of like real number and that doesn't really matter. And right now it's still trying to send the message. I am already popping out the card. There we go, so the card is out. So this message will not be sent to actually anybody. But what happened is it actually generated a link. So we can now click on it. And next we're gonna select open URL. And I'm gonna select don't allow. And next we're gonna click right here on the account icon. We're gonna navigate to settings, about, and Google privacy policy. This opens up our browser. Here you wanna select um, use without an account. No thanks. Now chances are when you select use without an account uh, once, nothing will happen. When you press on it second time, it might close the application. If it does, just repeat the steps to get back into it. Now, uh, from here, we want to navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass, like so. And in here, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on the settings up. And this will redirect us to the phone settings application. Next, in here, uh, you want to uh, scroll down and select where is it? Oh, there we go. App management, and then select app list. And the first thing we're gonna be looking for is the Android Auto, which should be somewhere at the top. The second thing. And here you wanna select disable, disable app, and for stop and okay. Next, we're gonna go back. And now we're looking for Android setup, which is an next one down. Here we're gonna select for stop, go back. And next we're gonna scroll down in the app list and we're looking now for the Google, uh, Google, what is it? I already passed it actually. Google Play Services, there we go. And I click on that. And here again, we're gonna select disable, disable app and for stop. So we have disabled uh, or specifically for stopped three application. Next, we're gonna go back to the main settings page right here and you want to now navigate to special um, special features something along those lines function so special function and here we're looking for accessibility there we go accessibility menu which is a little bit lower and you want to toggle it on, select allow, and got it. Now that we have uh, done so, we can now back out to the back to the setting or setup of the device. So I'm gonna start just spamming the back button. Again, I am gonna hover my hand so the QR code is covered. Go back, and there we go. And next in the connect to Wi-Fi page, which is gonna proceed forward now. Next.
Now once you have this pop-up, uh, select don't copy and now we can get to the bypass portion of this guide. So right now the device will start glitching out and as you can see it's checking for updates and just a sec and then it goes back to checking for updates. Because we have turned off Google Play services, the device cannot check for updates, therefore it just goes back to checking for it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the accessibility menu which we have added. Next we're going to select assistant and click on the settings which will appear right here. And then select enable which was right here. As you can see it does close on its own so you need to be a bit quick on it and you will need to repeat this process several times. Nope, that didn't enable. There we go. Once you manage to enable it, it will stay open. So now just go back once. And as you can see, we now skipped the verification portion. We're now on the next page where we just get to go through this, like accept next choose your browser now at this point it doesn't really matter so just select whatever is quickest for you next okay skip skip whatever here next and finish up the setup and the last thing that we will need to do to fully unlock the device, as we have just at the moment bypassed the verification portion, and it still might cause some problems uh, on some devices. You might have problem uh, with, for instance, unlocking the device, and you will need to launch something like a camera to go to unlock it. So right away, just start off by opening up your settings. Can you pull down the freaking... Okay, so one of the things that we can do is pull down notifications. So we're going to swipe to the left. I am looking for settings, though the icon pack right here is absolutely atrocious. Oh, there we go. So we have settings right here. And next you want to scroll down all the way to system. Scroll down again and select reset phone. Erase all data. Erase all data. And press on the button erase all data for uh, one last time, which will perform a factory reset of the device. I'm not going to go over this on the video just because it's a straight up reset of the device, uh, but it is the last thing that you need to do to fully unlock the device so you can actually use it normally. Um, now I will also clarify something for people that might already have realized we had access to settings before and we technically could have gone there and performed this kind of reset without doing the disable applications and all that stuff. Now the reason we haven't done that back then was because the device back then uh, was still in a setup process. When the device knows that it's in a setup process and you perform a reset it checks if it's in a setup, if it's locked, it was. So after the reset, it would just stay locked. But when the device is fully set up, which it is right now, even though we just kind of glitched our way through it, it's still the device for all the device cares. It is the setup is completed. So when you're doing a reset of the device through settings now with the device fully set up, it checks the device is set up. There is no screen lock whatsoever, any kind of like Google accounts. You want to reset the device, that's fine. We're just going to remove everything, which coincidentally also will include the protection on the device. So that's why you want to go through the reset uh, right now so it fully unlocks the device. I will actually be going through this reset on a separate video as a just a simple reset through settings. So if you're really interested, you can check that out instead. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, uh, I'm going to finish here without doing so. But like I said, you do want to go through it. So there we go. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.